It's a Tuesday morning, and I'm glad that you're up and at it. I hope that you had a good evening last night, and it is a beautiful morning today. After all that rain, those clear skies and the sunshine sure are good to see. Again, I'm glad you're up today. Uh, let's begin this morning uh, with Psalm 140, which says this, I say to the Lord, you're my God. Hear, Lord, my cry for mercy. Sovereign Lord, my strong deliverer, you shield my head in the day of battle. This part of Psalm 140 reminds us that God is with us and he is a God who provides mercy every morning. Would you join me in prayer? Father in heaven, we're so glad to be your children and to be a part of your world today. And I pray on this day that your mercies would be new, that your kindness would be evident, and that we'd be aware that our strong God walks with us into this day. And it's in Jesus' name we pray this. Amen. Well, we're continuing in our 150 days of prayer, and we've been praying for a number of things important to the future of our church and our community. This week, we're praying for those that minister with our young adults and their children, our preschoolers. Our FBC TOTS ministry is so important. We talked yesterday about the important things that happen in the lives of kids, even between the ages of birth and five, that are essential to their spiritual development. And so today, we want to pray over our volunteers. Yesterday, we prayed for some of those staff uh, that we pay to step in the gap for us. And then there are these others who volunteer of their time and energy every Sunday. Janice McManigal and Christy Bernard, Jan Jones and Peggy Cressman, Dottie Butler, Sammy Marino. Uh, shout out to all of them. These ladies uh, give of their time Sunday after Sunday to care for our youngest kids. And if this is the kind of thing you'd love to do, you should talk uh, to, to Paula. She'd love to visit with you about our FPC TOTS ministry. But today, let's pray over these. Heavenly Father, I thank you for these who are called to this most special ministry. I thank you for the tenderness and the kindness and the love and the patience they show uh, with our youngest kids. And I pray you continue to bless them, encourage them, and help them to be reminded every day that what they're doing is so very important. And it's in Jesus' name we pray this today. Amen. Well, we're continuing to talk about the names of God. We just have a few of these left. And today we pick up with the first name of God that we find in Scripture. And it is the term, the word, Elohim, Elohim. It, is, it appears over 2,000 different times in Scripture, and it is what we find in Genesis chapter 1 when the Bible says, In the beginning, God. In the beginning, God. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and you know the rest of the story. Now, what's interesting about Elohim is it's a Hebrew word, of course, uh, that means uh, the Most High, the Creator, the, the, the Judge uh, of the universe. But it is, a, it is a noun that is in the plural tense. All the nouns in uh, Hebrew or either in singular or plural tense, it's a little different than what we find uh, in English uh, sometimes. And this particular case, this noun is in the plural uh, tense, although it's always with a singular verb. It's very unusual. It's unusual anywhere in Hebrew. Uh, it's unusual in Semitic languages in general to find this kind of thing happening. But it is the case with this word, Elohim is plural, and the verb is always singular connected with it. It's amazing that in the revelation of God's word from the very beginning, this idea of God being three in one, somehow God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, three persons in one person, three essence in one person, three natures in one person, uh, comes forth to us even in this first mention of God's name in the Old Testament. Today we need to be reminded, I think, of the powerful nature, and the mysterious nature of our God, and so we find it in this term, Elohim. Heavenly Father, we, uh, we seek to understand you. We want to know all that we can about you, but there is a temptation, a prideful temptation on our part as human beings to think we come to the place where we know it all. And Father, we recognize that there is much we don't understand and know about you. You are God. You are creator. More power than we can begin to understand, more, more wisdom than our minds can grab a hold of, and certainly you are mysterious in ways that are beyond our comprehension. Not least of these is this idea that you are Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, three in one, in some way that is beautiful and powerful and also uh, hard for us to grab a hold of. So today, we just celebrate that you are Elohim and glad that this is true. And it's in Jesus' name we pray this today. Amen. Well, we're continuing to get ready for the launch of our spiritual growth campaign coming up this week. All of our life groups will fall into place. Scripture memory will begin. Devotionals will take a bit of a shift for these next six weeks uh, as we walk through all of this together. And I hope that you're getting ready for that. We've got some volunteers and staff that are getting ready for it. And if you'd like to help with some of the decorating or some of the uh, things to spruce up the campus in preparation for the beginning of this week, please get a hold of Kay James. Uh, she's looking for some help this week. And uh, I know that you would enjoy uh, being a part of getting things ready for everybody else this Sunday. 
Uh, today, our, uh, our worship comes from the Booth Brothers. Uh, their song is His Name is Wonderful. Uh, it is indeed true. I hope that you enjoy it. Have a great day, guys. Love you. We'll see you tomorrow.